Mugs up, everybody. We are walking around Seattle today talking about espresso. Big E. <laughs> the big E. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Today we are doing some espresso y things. Espresso y? Yeah, so Matthew. What is espresso? Yeah, what is, what is, what is espresso? it? What is espresso? First of all, it's not espresso. Yeah, for <laughs> some of you that might be confused, espresso no is not a thing. Okay. Espresso is when you take high pressure, high temperature water and push it through beans really, really quickly. Yes. And it makes this little tiny amount of liquid that's really, really intense. Like, it's very just compact. Yeah, it's the base of like lattes and cappuccinos and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, absolutely. When we're talking about espresso, what we're really looking for at a third wave coffee shop is hand tamped. Exactly. Hand tamped means that they have ground the coffee and then they are by hand pushing it down. Pushing it down. That's like taking regular like automated coffee espresso to the next level because like you get yeah. another level of control, right? Yeah. Hey, we're on Broadway, right? Yeah. Do you wanna, Vivace's is right up here. Do you wanna grab espresso? Let's do it, I love that. Nice. All right, we are right outside of Vivace's. Yeah. Let's give it a smell. Good smell. Nice, nice, mm. give it a sip. Dude. Good espresso. Amazing espresso. Yeah. I gotta say, the fact that we are just walking around Seattle and this is just out here and we have right. espresso that is like sweet and earthy and full. And, Amazing. And Amazing. the fact that we can just like walk up. So like we're just walking around and like you just walk up to the stand and yeah. you get like really this, good espresso. Yeah. Fantastic. Vivaci's also does ristretto poles. They do. Which is different than a normal espresso pole. So a normal espresso pole generally lands somewhere between 25 seconds and like 35 yeah. seconds. So in espresso, some of the big terms are going to be under extracted and over extracted. Yeah. Well, an under extracted shot is going to taste kind of acidic, underdeveloped. Um, if you're like talking about fruit, it's going to be kind of like an unripe apple or lemon. It's just going to be really like bitter acidic. We don't want that. Over extracted. It's going to be kind of like a grumpy old semen, like very salty, very bitter. Like he's just kind of not happy to be here. You don't want that in your espresso either. I love those metaphors. <laughs> those are great. Yeah. Coffee brews front to back. Yes. Under extracted means that it brewed too quickly, mm -hmm. so it's too far forward. It's like over extracted means it brewed too long, so it's too yeah. far back. The yeah. perfect shot of espresso connects a sweet part on the front end of the palate to a dark part on the back end of the palate. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's hit up some more espresso Bro, let's places. Let's do it. I'm excited. Let's, let's do it. We're just walking around, and every coffee shop that we're going to has hand tamped espresso where they really care about their recipe, the they body, yeah. the tasting notes. It's all over the place out here. I think that's the cool thing about third wave coffee. Yeah. Um, Cause like that's taking coffee right to another level. It's like science, right? Yeah, absolutely. So the first wave of coffee was a long time ago when England brought coffee from Africa over to Europe on boats. The second wave of coffee was really started by Starbucks coffee is an experience where right. I'm supposed to sit on a nice couch with jazz music and have a customized latte with my name on it. It's an experience. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, experience is really the key word. The third wave of coffee is coffee is a science where I'm talking about brew methods and beans, it's tasting notes. Um, yeah, yeah, and that's what we're all about here yeah. on Mugs. Exactly, is exactly. Third wave coffee. <laughs> analog coffee we did yes so they we wanted to stop by there because they have a really different espresso recipe um, yeah the other places that we've been checking out today are one to two ratios so they're so more standard right? more standard yeah, more yeah. standard 20 grams in 40 grams out right that's pretty standard the one that we just had an analog was 20 grams in 50 grams right out. which was interesting they kind of took yeah. uh, took their own twist on it almost that's a one to 2.5 ratio instead of one to two it was way more water a lot more it was input. it was uh it was a more 
like substantial espresso. Yeah, pole. you could see Vivace's was like one ounce. Barely the any. Analog was almost two ounces. Yeah. Uh, definitely you noticed, like it was really juicy. I think that with more water, it's sweeter. Part of why Analog's espresso works is because they have a really different grind setting than other espresso options. Yeah. It's crazy how like a different grind setting will change the way that your espresso turns out every time. We think of espresso as this like dark, bitter kind of liquid, yeah. but it really can be light, bright, juicy. Yeah, if you don't like that really dark um, taste of espresso, I would recommend checking out like an analog or something like that yeah. that does a different alternative way of doing espresso. Ask for a blonde shot of espresso. Yeah. See if they have any kind of a longer pull or if they have any single origin alternative espresso. Something that's gonna like switch it up a little bit, get you get you outside the normal for you. Yeah. We're gonna try and get into Ghost Note now because they're doing uh, something a little bit different yeah. with their espresso. Okay, yeah, that yeah. sounds amazing. We're gonna try something a little different. Check it out. Let's do it. So, so we did we did their single origin. It's an Ethiopian. Yeah. Um, it's light. Dude. It's floral. It's citrusy. But every, but at the same it's, time, it's everything I want espresso to be. Mm -hmm. Like you're getting that yeah. wonderful body that espresso has. That that, yeah. that, that yeah. richness. Yeah. This is honestly the best brewed cup of coffee I've ever had. Like for something totally. that's for something that's not hand brewed. I mean, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hand -brewed, hand -brewed, something hand -brewed, that's okay. not hand crafted. This is fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, what do, we, what do they call it? It's like their mod. Yeah, it's like so their mod bar espresso or something like it's that. It's a modified espresso machine, mm -hmm. um, or a mod bar espresso. It's gonna be the short words for okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Continue. So it's that group head that lets them get way more beans in there, yeah. and way more water comes through. It takes a lot longer. It's not that same twenty seconds. It's more like a minute and a half. Fantastic. I love how their cups are like all different. Like I don't know if you can see that, but like each one is like a handcrafted mug. It's just yeah. like super unique and. Yeah. An a amazing, nice touch. amazing coffee shop to pop into. If yeah. you're in Seattle, pop into Ghost Note. For this sure. is an awesome for place sure. to hang out. Yeah. Huge thanks to Ghost Note for letting us shoot inside big, here. Big, yeah. Thanks, yeah. big thanks, big love, big love. Thanks for coming along with us today, guys. I hope that you learned something about espresso. Mm. Um, huge thanks to Vivace, Analog Coffee, and, and Ghost, Ghost Note, Note for yeah. letting us film. Thanks. Um, if you guys know any other coffee spots in Seattle that are you sure hit it down in the comments for us, okay? We'll yeah. be happy to check it out for you. Yeah, absolutely. Like, subscribe, notifications, the whole deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And until next time, yeah. mugs, mugs up. up. It'd be fun if you we weren't recording right now. <laughs> <It'd be laughs> We're not recording. <laughs> that would not be a first time. I love that blooper. It's my favorite. <laughs>